All right, good day. How you welcome? Okay. All right, so uh, here's what you missed. But he's walking his dog there, so. Uh, I went, when I got to the gas station to get my uh, provisions, uh, my client pulled in just as I, I was going in to get my provisions. I, it was a little bit late, running a little bit late. He said, hey, I said, I'll meet you at the house. I said, okay. And uh, I get this thing rolling. Come on. So then I came here and we went and finished off. Took about an hour and a half to unload the trailer with the shingles. Which is uh, not a bad day. Then my buddy treated me to a patin at the local restaurant. And uh, it was pretty good. Now I'm heading home. Got to get the house kind of cleaned up for my dad. Coming home from moose hunting. At least if he didn't get a moose, at least there's still moose meat in the freezer. So, got a little a little bit given to us from a, a friend, so that got one and yeah, it's always nice. So I have a new life plan. Um, one of the waitresses uh, at the uh, local restaurant here she's like uh do you need anything else to send a million dollars i'll get right on that so guys i got a girl gonna give me a million bucks i said okay i'm gonna write that down <laughs> i think she's good for it i'm sure i'm sure yeah she's like, oh, yeah, i'll get that for you i'll get that for you right away she could have been pulling my leg but i think she's good for it yeah so i'll be a millionaire as soon as she's as soon as she makes good on that i'll be a millionaire there you go uh, yeah, no, uh, <laughs> ran into uh, some of Paul's clients when we went in. I was like, you guys are going to get this done for us, right? Uh, that last kind of seasonal cleanup. Everybody's in panic mode. Get this done, get that done. So I made off really good today. That That's one good thing. Um, my winter tires have already paid for themselves more than once already. Well, not quite twice, but it was a very, very busy week. It is now Saturday, but a very, very good week, too. Uh, so, I'm going to take tomorrow off. I really need, I really need, like, a good day of sleeping in. And, uh... I don't know what I'm going to do there. Well... <laughs> On the way out, though, uh, my buddy Paul, he, he made off like a bandit because he just, uh, we just found a, 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 a good washer and dryer. We we're going to take it for scrap. The guy's like, no, no, it's good. I just bought new ones for the wife or whatever. Like, oh, okay, well, my buddy can sell them. Maybe he makes a couple hundred bucks extra on that. That'd be awesome. But uh, we had uh, two and a half tons of shingles. It took us three and a half hours to load it and an hour and a half to unload it. So this is where a um, having a um, dumper trailer would be really, really, really beneficial. So we did okay on that job. Both of us did okay on that job. So. talking to that drummer Roger but I forgot to tell him hey we got to get together again he said hey, a couple of guys went over to his place and the eyes yeah, they're gonna go he was jamming with them he was yeah we're going on a world tour it's like oh, lucky bastards <laughs> yeah. I'd like to be going on a world tour maybe not a world tour just a, a Canada tour maybe a couple of places in Europe that'd be cool Tell you though, I uh, sat down in the restaurant, we ate. When I stood up, I was like, okay, yeah, my body's tired. My body's tired. When you just kind of like start to slow down a little bit, it's like you just stiffen right up, eh? Like. But we got her done. We got her done. 
got her done. And then Monday back on that fence again. And Tuesday, weather permitting, we're going to use the blower of doom. I know you guys like the title of the video is the blower of doom. My buddy's Husqvarna backpack blower. That sucker's like 80 cc's. It works good. I think we had it last year. But you still got to do a lot of raking. Like once you, like, you can blow it to the edge of the bush, but you kind of need the rake to kind of porpoise it into the bush a bit more. <laughs> then we got to cut the grass. Then I got another client next week, probably the last grass cutting. And uh, that's pretty much almost the end of the month. Two more days, I'll have been playing drums nine months. And uh, when my dad gets back, I gotta check the mail to see if my, uh, what you call it, my uh, credit card statement's in there. It's gonna be only 236 bucks. <laughs> so that's gonna be a nice uh, low payment for this month. But once I pay that, um, as of today, I have April's living expenses covered up to April. I'm, I've got my living expenses covered up to April, and I'll have a, just the beginning of May. So if I get May and June's living expenses covered, I then have an overlap of income for next year, which makes life a lot easier when you don't have to. Uh, it means by the time uh, the um, my money runs out. Uh, income start, money starts coming in so that's pretty good so I think there's going to be maybe one possibly two more big purchases this season we'll see how much we can get done because uh, Paul and I still have quite a bit of work so I'm pretty sure we're going to fill in November so if I can fill in November and a bit of December that'd be great even if it's not uh, like if I can get like three days a week between now and January, I want to take January off though. Like I, I have to rest my body, <laughs> you know, a little bit. Maybe I'll do a little bit of work, you know, like one or two days a week, that's it. That'd be good. But any more than that's kind of like a little bit too much. Like it's not that I work long, long hours. It's that the hours I work are hard. You know what I mean? And uh, that's, um, it catches up to you <laughs> like it was hard on me in my 20s it's like murdersome on me on, in my 50s <laughs> you know yeah life is short so I'm gonna get home don't know if my dad would be home yet I doubt he'd be home yet but I'd like to get uh because uh, the timeshare dog, she's been jumping in and out of the window all day, right? Uh, when I'm gone. So I get home, there's like leaves all over the inside of the house. I got to sweep up. Get out, get the dishes done. Clean up some stuff in the yard. Like I thought I was going to get a whole bunch of stuff uh, done this morning. But, uh, uh, or like today being Saturday... But I end up working, so it's like after two o'clock there now. So, like your days go by fast, you know. Like it's dark when you wake up, and it's dark when you head home. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that time of year. But it is what it is. It is what it is. At least I don't have to make supper tonight because uh, I had to put in and I still have supper left over from last night, so. <laughs> Doing well. Oh, look at those giant skeletons and stuff. That's craziness. Gonna start to come out of Silver Pellet Warp Drive, heading into my town. <laughs> 